president began his day not with the usual federal executive council meeting which he usually chairs every wednesday well usually the first wednesday after a public holiday fact does not hold because the memos would not have been ready but in this instance we had fact last week and this week no official reason has been proffered for its cancellation however the president met with the new director general of the apc presidential campaign organization governor simon lalong of plateau state who doubles as the chairman of the Northern Governors Forum met with the president for a number of reasons. Briefing State House correspondents, Governor Lalong criticized Christians who fault his acceptance to head the APC Campaign Council as a Christian. For those who are talking about, I don't even know where they are. I hold a papal night. And as a Catholic, everything we do, we do it and we send the advice to the Pope. The Pope has not told me that what I'm doing is bad to accept uh, Director General. As a Catholic, we take that direction. But generally, as a governor of a state, I said as a governor of a state, I'm not responsible to only my faith. In every political party, there's opportunity for you to vote for a Christian or to vote for a Muslim. If you don't want a Muslim, you wait until the electoral day, you go and vote. It be a choice. He equally debunks allegations that he lobbied to become the party's vice presidential candidate. I did not lobby for Bivi. Yes, many people were lobbying and writing on my behalf, but what I wanted to be, I wanted to be and I still stand for now, I obtained form for Senate. I won. I have my senatorial ticket that I'm waiting for. So if at any time, some people who wanted to be VT lost out and they are using religion. They should not use me. After prevailing on the president for the release of one of his former predecessors, former governor Joshua Dari, and the former governor of Taraba State, Mr. Jolly Inyame, the governor is grateful to the president for granting them pardon. From the presidential villa, Gloria Umezuke, Channels Television News.